for whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we, through patience and comfort of the scriptures, might have hope. Now the God of patience and consolation grant you to be like-minded one toward another according to Christ Jesus, that ye may with one mind and one mouth glorify God, even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. The beast system spent a lot of time indoctrinating the indigenous people about the seed of the serpent and the heathen's accomplishments. It is time for the indigenous black people to focus on themselves and their history. Learning fictitious history about the seed of the serpent is not going to help us. Their delusional history is wasting our time and taking away from our duty as the people made in the image of the Most High. The time has come for the indigenous black people to take control of their history, culture, and image. We cannot allow our enemies to tell our stories. Israelites, it is important to remember the heathens know who they are and where they came from. The scripture said the Israelites would forget who they are and depart from their heritage. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not. For ye have kindled a fire in mine anger, which shall burn for ever. Because the Israelites forgot who they are and departed from their heritage via religion, Satan seized the opportunity to rewrite our history. Satan took our culture heritage from us and gave our heritage to the impostors. Today, there is a group of impostors the world recognized as the descendants of the Israelites. Satan took many terrors from around the world, placed them in the land called Israel. These people have assumed the identity of the Israelites as well. Many Israeli feel they could claim the Israelite bloodline simply because they were born in Israel. There are many that know they are not blood descendants of the Israelites and they are speaking. You can find many videos online of the heathens confessing. The people the world recognize as God's people are not but of the synagogue of Satan. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. Satan did not only rewrite the Israelites' history. The kingdom of darkness has rewritten the history and origin of all the indigenous black people all over the world. The Israelites are in captivity due to their rebellion. The indigenous heathens are conquered by the seed of the serpent. That is why every indigenous nation are in the same condition. Conquered people do not have power nor a voice. The conquered heathens are in the background in their nations, watching the seed of the fallen control their leaders and culture. The Most High used the serpent seed to rain judgment on his people, as well as the wicked indigenous heathens. And he changeth the times and the seasons. He removeth kings and setteth up kings. He giveth wisdom unto the wise and knowledge to them that know understanding. The indigenous black heathens did not forget their history. They are knowledgeable of who they are and where they came from. The indigenous heathens can trace their heritage back to Japheth, Ham, and Shem. The indigenous heathens still dwell in the land they inherited from their fathers. Mainstream media would never give the indigenous heathens a voice. The seed of the fallen bribed the leaders. The leaders of the indigenous heathen nations sell out their people, culture, and heritage for a few dollars. What does it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? But what is a man profited if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? But what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? The scriptures reveal the true bloodline descendants of the Israelites would forget their history. The scriptures did not say all indigenous people would forget their heritage. The heathens know who they are. If you ask a Jew of his or her bloodline, they will reply that they could trace their bloodline to King David. 
by them knowing who they are and can trace their so-called family tree to King David is another proof that they are imposters assuming the identity of the Israelites. How can a people forget who they are and can trace their bloodline to King David? Israelites, the reason the indigenous heathens never disclose who you are until now, the scriptures said the heathens conspired against the Israelites to cut them off from being a people. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. Many Gentile nations join forces to cut the Israelites off from being a people. They aided the kingdom of darkness in helping us forget who we are. The beast system educational division is established to teach the indigenous people false history about the serpent seed. Why is it a global mandate for the world to learn the false history of the serpent seed? Satan wants to replace the indigenous people with his people. Because this is the awakening and the scriptures are being fulfilled, many heathens are confessing. Everything the kingdom of darkness flip upside down, the Most High is correcting. Remember, in the last days, knowledge would increase. But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book, even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. Israelites, it is important for you to understand other indigenous bloodlines are conquered by the serpent seed. By now you should know that the indigenous black people from every bloodline are living in their land until now. Do not accept the people mainstream media put in your face as the original people of the land. Do not accept the mixed seed, the melanated people with strange features for the original people. The mixed population and the full-blooded serpent seed the beast system promote are not the original. I do not care how much mixing the indigenous people did. The pale-skinned people with Neanderthal DNA are not indigenous, nor could they claim the indigenous people's bloodline. Japheth and Esau's bloodline are not whited out. If an indigenous person's bloodline was ever whited out, they are no longer indigenous. The pale skin with Neanderthal DNA are of their father, Satan. Ye are of your father, the devil, and the lusts of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar, and the father of it. And because I tell you the truth, ye believe me not. Which of you convinceth me of sin? And if I say the truth, why do ye not believe me? He that is of God heareth God's words. Ye therefore hear them not, because ye are not of God. Like the scripture said, Because I tell you the truth about these people, you believe me not. Our people want to claim the Caucasian species so badly. They are not our uncles Esau's descendants. The kingdom of darkness target the mixed groups to increase the seed of the fallen's population. Remember, most biracial and mixed people marry the serpent seed. They believe the delusion of bettering their offspring when mixed with the Caucasian species. Today, there is a big push for the indigenous black women to divest due to the ill treatment they receive from their counterpart. Do not believe the divesting propaganda from the kingdom of darkness. Divesting is not benefiting the indigenous people, nor is divesting solving the issues within the indigenous community. Divesting is increasing the population of your enemies. To the indigenous black men, love yourself so we do not have a repeat of what took place in the Garden of Eden. So ought men to love their wives as their own bodies? He that loveth his wife loveth himself. Recognize the propaganda and nip it in the bud, indigenous black men. Do not let Satan lead your community by deceiving the indigenous black women and men to divest. Ignoring the situation like Adam did is helping the kingdom of darkness. Ask the Most High to help you lead your community. The beast system do not support nor promote the people made in the image of the Most High. The indigenous black people are the most hated group of people. The seed of the fallen torments everyone. The kingdom of darkness do not discriminate. 
despite of the indigenous heathens helping the kingdom of darkness erase the Israelites, they were conquered by the same kingdom they put their trust in. The descendants of Noah's sons are still scattered in the land the Most High sent them after the Tower of Babel. Everyone who spoke the same language became one family and were dispersed all over the world. And when the Lord had scattered the sons of men on account of their sin at the tower, behold, they spread forth into many divisions, and all the sons of men were dispersed into the four corners of the earth. And all the families became each according to its language, its land, or its city. Christopher Columbus did not discover any land. To say Christopher Columbus discovered land and brought civilization to the new world is blasphemy. Do not give the Most High's glory to another. The Most High is not sharing his glory with anyone. The indigenous black people dwell all over the world. Stop believing the beast system's media of the pale face and mixed population as the root to all nations. After the scattering that took place during the time of Babel, the scriptures revealed during the time of Peleg, the sons of Noah divided the earth to their descendants. The book of Jubilees, chapter 8, verse 8 said, When Peleg was born, the sons of Noah began to divide the earth. And in the sixth year thereof, she bare him a son, and he called his name Peleg. For in the days when he was born, the children of Noah began to divide the earth among themselves. For this reason he has called his name Peleg, and they divided secretly among themselves. I know there are many people who do not accept the book of Jubilees, Jasher, and Enoch as scriptural. The Bible confirmed what the book of Jubilees said about the sons of Noah dividing the earth when Peleg was born. And unto Eber were born two sons. The name of one was Peleg, for in his days was the earth divided, and his brother's name was Joktan. The land inheritance the descendants of Noah's sons receive are eternal. The seed of the fallen who conquer and colonize nations all over the world are out of order. Their land ownership claims are not valid. The earth was given to the indigenous black people. The Most High command his people, the indigenous black people, to be fruitful and fill the earth. Black indigenous people are not limited to Africa. The whole world is an inheritance given to the indigenous black people by the Most High. And there came forth on the writing as Shem's lot, the middle of the earth, which he should take as an inheritance for himself and for his sons for the generations of eternity. Now that you are aware that the Most High gave the black indigenous people the world as an inheritance, Israelites, you must know that the indigenous people still dwell in the land they inherited from Shem, Ham, and Japheth, while most were displaced due to the seed of the fallen's greed. Also, the judgments against the wicked indigenous people displaced many. By now, you should know the Most High created the man and woman in his image and likeness. We know the indigenous black people are the original people. The Most High gave the indigenous black woman the ability to create children with many features. The mitochondrial Eve gene that is found only in the black woman is another way you can identify the people of the Most High. By infusing the gene into the indigenous woman's DNA, the kingdom of darkness cannot alter this gene to give the crown of the indigenous woman to an inferior counterfeit. The scripture said the life to all flesh is in the blood. For it is the life of all flesh. The blood of it is for the life thereof. Therefore I said unto the children of Israel, Ye shall eat the blood of no manner of flesh. For the life of all flesh is the blood thereof. Whosoever eateth it shall be cut off. Although pale skin, colored hair, and eyes are rare on the indigenous black people, there are indigenous people with these gene traits. Most indigenous people that have one or more recessive features, such as pale skin, colored hair, and eyes, stems from the original gene mutating or an abnormality taking place in the gene cell. Melanin is the mark of the most high on his people. Melanin is the dominant gene of the created people of the most high. Most indigenous people born without melanin are called albino. A person with albinism carry recessive genes. 
it is possible for a person who carried the albino gene to have children without albinism. According to the B system, there are various types of albinism. The book of Enoch revealed that the Most High was doing something new when Lamech and his wife gave birth to Noah. Enoch explained to Methuselah, Noah's birth was a sign of what would take place in the earth. Noah was the man the Most High was going to use to save mankind. And I, Enoch, answered and said to him, The Lord will do a new thing on earth, and this I have already seen in a vision and made known to you. For in the generation of my father, Jared, some from the heights of heaven transgress the words of the Lord. And behold, they commit sin and transgress the law and have been promiscuous with women and commit sin with them and have married some of them and have begotten children by them. And now make known to your son Lamech that the one who has been born is truly his son and call his name Noah, for he will be a remnant for you. And he and his sons will be saved from the destruction which is coming on the earth because of all the sin and all the iniquity which will be committed on the earth in his days. The book of Enoch describes Noah's appearance. The scripture said Noah's skin was whiter than snow. His hair was white like wool. His eyes are like the ray of sun. When he opened his eyes, he could light the entire room. And now hear me, my father, for a child has been born to my son Lamech, whose form and type are not like the type of a man. His color is whiter than snow and redder than the flower of the rose, and the hair of his head is whiter than white wool. And his eyes are like the ray of the sun, and he opened his eyes and made the whole house bright. Israelites, it is important to discern what the scriptures are revealing. Lamech compared Noah's appearance to the angels. If Lamech and his wife were of the Caucasian species, Noah's appearance would not cause Lamech, Noah's father, to flee from him and question his paternity. Pale skin, colored hair, and eyes are normal features of the seed of the fallen. Noah's appearance is a description of an indigenous person with albinism. Pale skin, colored eyes with woolly hair. When the indigenous black woman have a child with albinism, the child have Negro features. The child maintain their woolly hair. What differentiate an indigenous person with an indigenous person with albinism is the lack of melanin. Once Methuselah described Noah's appearance to Enoch, Enoch revealed to Methuselah of the transgression of the watchers, the fallen angels. We know that the seed of the fallen appearance is pale skin, straight hair with colored eyes and hair. I want you to pay attention to what Methuselah and Lamech description of Noah's hair. Both said his hair was white like wool, just as the Bible described Yeshua's hair as white like wool. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. The indigenous black people's hair is like wool. Do you notice the pattern? Who are the melanated people that look like us, but they do not have woolly hair? Or they have woolly hair, but other recessive features? Remember I said to you, Satan imitates the Most High. Everything the Most High does, Satan has a counterfeit. The serpent seed shares similar features with the indigenous black people, but there is always something that is off. The indigenous people have woolly hair, the serpent seed have straight hair. Did you know curly hair is dominant while straight hair is recessive? Israelites, can you discern why the indigenous black woman's woolly hair is hated while straight hair is praised in the bee system? The bee's culture worship and praise recessive genes because the seed of the fallen possess those genes. The indigenous people carry the dominant gene. The genetic makeup of the serpent seed is recessive. Straight hair and wavy hair is a mutation from the curly dominant hair type. I hope the indigenous black people all over the world begin to view their crown in a better light. There are people around the world that have melanated hair, skin, and eyes just like the indigenous black people. However, they have straight or wavy hair like the serpent seed. The beast system categorized them as aboriginal or mulattoes. We know the indigenous people are the black people. 
the people born in the land of India as well as the Aboriginal people of Australia have a unique phenotype, dark skin, colored hair and eyes with straight hair. The people dwelling in the southern region of India have a different appearance from the Indians living in the northern region of India. The Indians in the north are pale skin like the serpent seed. The Indians in the south are melanated. Majority of the people dwelling in India is a mixed population. The people mainstream media present to us as the indigenous people of the land are far from the indigenous black people who inherited the land of India for a possession. Ham inherited the south region of this world. The land of India was an inheritance for Ham's grandson, Elam. And Shari also divided among his sons, and the first portion came forth for Elam and his sons to the east of the river Tigris till it approaches the east, the whole land of India, and on the Red Sea, on its coast, and the waters of Dedan, and all the mountains of Meribri, and Allah, and all the land of Susan, and all that is on the side of Fernach. The indigenous black population, the descendants of Ham, still dwell in the land of Elam. The scriptures reveal to us that the sons of Noah, Shem, Ham, and Japheth, named cities and land after their names and family. The B system have a habit of renaming land to conceal the truth. The population of indigenous black people living in India is small compared to the mixed multitude and the serpent seed. There are Israelites living in the land of Elam as known as India. Our people are scattered all over the world. The scriptures prophesy that the Most High would gather his people from the land of Elam. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall set his hand again the second time to recover the remnant of his people, which shall be left from Assyria, and from Egypt, and from Paphros, and from Cush, and from Elam, and from Shinar, and from Hamath, and from the islands of the sea. The scriptures reveal a great judgment the Most High has reserved for Elam. I have yet to read in the scriptures of their offense. I am sure it has to do with transgressing the laws of the Most High and the ill treatment of the people of the Most High. We cannot forget about the paganism in the land of Elam by the serpent seed and the mixed multitude. I believe the people dwelling in Elam serve over hundreds, if not thousands of different deities. Everything is a God to them, including the animals. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Behold, I will break the bow of Elam, the chief of their might. And upon Elam will I bring the four winds from the four quarters of heaven, and will scatter them toward all those winds. And there shall be no nation whither the outcasts of Elam shall not come. For I will cause Elam to be dismayed before their enemies, and before them that seek their life. And I will bring evil upon them, even my fierce anger, saith the Lord. And I will send the sword after them, till I have consumed them. And I will set my throne in Elam, and will destroy from thence the king and the princes, saith the Lord. But it shall come to pass in the latter days, that I will bring again the captivity of Elam, saith the Lord. The Indians in India and the Aboriginal Australians have a high amount of Denisovan and Neanderthal DNA. This is what caused the gene of the indigenous people who intermingle with the serpent seed to mutate into the recessive genes that highlight the seed of the fallen among us. Israelites, we dwell among mutants. The indigenous people fetishize the melanated people with strange features. They refer to them as exotics. You are dealing with mutants. They have the DNA of the serpent and they resemble the indigenous people. Not all skin folks are our people. Neanderthal and Denisovan DNA is from the serpent seed. The indigenous black people do not have Neanderthal and Denisovan DNA until this day. The indigenous people must stop claiming everything the serpent seed label black. Not all who look like us are our people. There are a lot of mixed and biracial people among us that share indigenous features, but they are not us. They carry the gene of the serpent while looking indigenous. Beware. Even viruses mutate. 
Presently, a new variant of the coronavirus is making its way around the world. The people who have the serpent DNA suffer the most from these viruses. The indigenous black people are the blueprint. There is nothing inferior about the people that are made in the image of the most high. That is why the world hate you. If the world hate you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. The indigenous black people spend a lot of time in the B system learning about other people's history. It is time for the indigenous black people to know who they are. By knowing where you came from will give you a clear vision on where you are going. The B system invests time to indoctrinate the indigenous black people into accepting an inferior history. Do not believe them. You are greater than you know. In the last days, knowledge would increase. Israelites, allow the knowledge the Most High is making available crunch your every thirst. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places.